Yes, I'm Margaret Pratt. As, as I sit here today, I'm, I'm feeling moderately op optimistic. There's been a flurry of press interest. It's the first time for some years there's been um, real interest from the media in St Lucia. What they were really keen to know about was what was their government doing, what were their judicial authorities doing. The response, I have to say, was absolutely immediate. Mr Green, Dasreen Green, the interim DPP, wanted to speak with me. He updated me on lots of aspects of the case that I, I wasn't aware of. I think there's another hearing on the 12th of May, and I'm hoping my attorney, Leslie Prosper, will be able to report, and Mr Green will report back on that. The issue in question is one of the defendants. The argument is, is that he's unfit to plead, but that's the current debate. Um, and I now understand rather better why there has been this roadblock. I, I'm really, really grateful for the personal attention that Mr. Green is being able to give to this case. And this gives me enormous um, assurance and confidence that the authorities in St. Lucia are finally taking the case more seriously. If all goes well, and you know I'm relying on him to make sure it all goes well, um, it may be the case that I can start planning for a trip to St. Lucia in the autumn. Um, I am um, the DPP's only witness, of course, um, to to what happened on that on that night, and. Um, I'm very keen to be at any trial in person. That's important, I think, not only for me, but for, for justice for Roger. All of this is, all of the progress we've made in the last month has been really positive. The challenge now is to keep that momentum going, to keep, um, to keep the, the pressure on, for Mr Green to keep the pressure on, to make sure progress is made and he he knows that I, he has my complete support in all that he's trying to do to move this case forward as quickly as possible for a trial as soon as may, 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 may be scheduled and arranged and I'm relying on him to do that.